What's up guys, it's Val, I'm back with another video, and before we get into today's video, I want to thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers, that is a pretty big number, I'm not going to lie, and I got there pretty quickly, so I do appreciate your guys' support, and I just want you guys to keep that up, keep subscribing, liking, and watching my videos, I really do appreciate it, but yeah, today is going to be a pretty big video, it's going to be a huge project, I'm finally going to be painting my car because I've had my car for almost a year now and it's about time. So I'm gonna be going to my grandpa's house and that's where the setup is gonna be. And I'll be filming everything over there. This is probably gonna be a couple parts, a couple of different videos for this whole project because it's gonna take a while. But yeah, you guys stay tuned for that. You guys are probably wondering where I've been the past month. I've just been busy, you know, working, getting ready for school and everything. So it's been busy. But I'm going to be getting back into uploading more consistently. So stay tuned for that, guys. Please be patient with me. I understand that I left you guys hanging for a while. But I apologize and I will make up for it. the bumpers so you just cut them open and then leave them outside in the sunlight and then they unfold by themselves this one's getting there and this one is too but be really careful when you do this because you don't want to crack it by accident but yeah this is all you do all right guys so we just took my fence apart and brought it in here into the backyard so when you paint your car, try to take as much stuff off as possible. Obviously, we're gonna, we got new bumpers over there, so I'm gonna take the front bumper off. Showed you guys how to do that. You just pull this plastic piece off, and there's two Allen bolts holding the bumper on, and then clips on the bottom, and two screws where the fender and the bumper meet. Also guys, since you know I do have underglow, I'm gonna be heat gunning it with the heat gun, just heating it up and then tearing it off slowly off of this bumper. I'm gonna be putting out my new bumper with some 3M mounting tape or something like that. Cause I don't wanna get rid of my underglow, you know? All right guys, so we got the front bumper off. We took the headlights out, as you can see. And we got the back bumper off too. Had a slight issue. The foam that stays on this crash bar, it kind of came off. So I'm debating whether to just send it or get a new piece of foam, but I'm kind of far away from the nearest Honda dealership, so it's going to be tough to find it. But yeah, wish me luck, guys. But we got a we got a few days, so we can figure it out. But now we're going to start sanding everything down. However, the clear coat's messed up, so like all over here. Obviously, the roof is the biggest part. But yeah, and then we'll do the bumpers later over there. But yeah, so wish me luck, guys. It's going to be a process for sure. It might be more than one part video. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to be because this is gonna take a while and I'm not monetized, so I can't have long videos out yet. But yeah, stay tuned guys. It's gonna look amazing once it's done, I'm sure. All right guys, so we're sanding everything down now and I'm taking off the spoiler right here just to make it easier. So there's a bolt right there. Right there, there's one bolt right here. That one, and then on the other side, another one right there those two are eight millimeter bolts you just gotta remove them all right guys so those two bolts and then there's a couple of clips that come out with the spoiler right here as you can see it's legit there's a couple more clips that you take out and then here are all the holes in the trunk we also took this badge out you just get under there with with a trim remover and then it pulls out all right guys, so we sanded all this down so far. We masked up everything we could for today. As you can see, we lifted the hood up and just moved and just put this under there. So it's all masked off. Not everything yet because we are, it was just me and my grandpa doing this. So it is gonna take some time, but we're slowly getting there. So now guys are just cleaning up for the night, getting everything all put away and tomorrow we'll start continue the process again.
you're gonna want to buy these paint prep wipes you can get them at AutoZone for like a few dollars and you just use these to wipe down the car after you sand it when you're ready to start priming make sure to do this because you want to get rid of all the dust and debris off of the car before you spray anything all right guys so this is a look at the car after we sanded most of it down wherever the clear coat was bad and i'm gonna finish up for today and we're gonna continue everything tomorrow so stay tuned guys Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really appreciate your support. I will have another video coming out for the next part, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, keep up the support, please. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys next week.